Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials featuring mainly MATLAB but the Excel. Now, just to say this is sort of these two YouTube tutorials go together. Uh, the one I'm current you're currently looking at, and this one here, simple statistics commands in MATLAB. Now I know that looks like an Excel spreach. If you jump on there, you can see I have this done already, and you will have that link. So put that down. And we have this Excel sheet here. And just to say anything with an underline, anything with an underline is a formula. So those sheets, those cells there, these lads over here. Now, when you put in a formula into Excel, they are not automatically underlined I just put in the underlines to try and help us work out what they are so we go up the top there we have some made up uh, sales orders for fruit lime coconut satsuma etc to different customers on different purchase dates uh, by different salespersons etc so Some simple commands here coming up. So, how do you get the average of that uh, sales uh, quantity or that sales totals? You got average, the median, equal median, the mode, mode that single, pick up a single one, the standard deviation. Second large, so equal large C2 to 86, comma 2, we pick up the second biggest, comma 3, the third biggest. Second smallest, equal small C2, C86, comma 2, etc. The largest, equal max. The smallest, equal min. The range is the max minus the min. You see there, the largest minus the smallest. The kurtosis is KURT. The skewness is equal to skew. How many transactions were there? How many entries are there from C2 to C86? Equal count. The lower quartile is quartile dot ink dot inclusive. Comma one, that's up to the first up to the second, up to the third, so that the first 25%, comma one, up to 75, comma three. Okay. Now, just to say, if you've looked at the MATLAB tutorial, the values we get for kurtosis and skewness are different. And on this site here, on researchgate.net, there are some different ideas as to why one would get different skewness and kurtosis values. So we're going to look at that later on. I'm not going to delve into it just right now. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. So there we are. Now some more awkward formulas here coming up so we want to rank the 7457 in all those order amounts did it become was it the highest amount the second highest amount the 20th highest amount the 60th highest amount etc now i'm going to delete some of the entries that i just had to try and emphasize what i'm about to do so c2 to C2 to C86. So when I drag that down, how do I drag down the formula? Just drag it down one. C2 is there. When I drag down, the formula underneath is C3. So the C2, when I drag down, became C3. But the C2 to C86 remained the same. Why? Because it's a dollar in front of the 2 and a dollar in front of the 86. Drag it down one more. The C3 became C4, but the C2 and the C86 remained the same. 
just drag them down there okay now let's look at the frequencies over here so we're counting uh, how many times does Apple that's M3 to M43 but how many times does Apple appear in B2 to B86 how many times does Apricot appear in B2 to B86 how many times does Avocado appear in B2 to B86 so the don't need the dollar in front of the B's but the in front of the twos when we drag down the B2 will remain as B2 the B86 will remain as B86 the M3 will stay as M3 and the M43 will stay as M43 so we're counting if how many times count if Apple appears there and there's one entry for Apple seemingly and there is just say three entries of clementine in b2 to b86 there is 85 there i did a sum of entry 1043 just to check that i was right what do you mean i was right There's 40, 85 transactions there. So we just make sure we get 85 each time. So N, just the least one or two of them, just show you what I'm getting at. So N3, one over 85, what do we want here? One over 85, one over 85, one over, etc. How do you stop the N45 underneath becoming N46, N$45. When you drag down, the N$45 will remain as N$45. Drag down a couple of them there. Control D, so in case I'm going too quick, highlight a few of them. Control D fills down. Just look at that there. The N3, N4, N5. N6 and then if I drag here in the bottom right corner N7 N8 N9 etc so we have it there the frequency is as a decimal what did I do here I said P3 equals O3 so I don't think that what's in there goes in there and how did I get it as a percentage right button click format cells there it is as numbers right button click uh, format cells uh, percentage set the number of decimal places and there we are So there's 85 there, and then if you add up the decimals, uh, you get one. That's all right. Now for the tricky one here. How many were there orders were there not to 7.99? How many orders of 800 to 15.99, etc.? I'm going to delete this. And the thing you have to make sure is that the last entry is well above the maximum. Now we know the maximum is, sorry, we know the maximum is 9873. So you have to make sure that the, these things called bins is well above 9873. So I set them in 800, so that's 800, 1600, 2432, etc. So how many were there in each block of 800? So you highlight in the cells like that. You have to highlight that first. Equal frequency, F or E, 
Q U E N C Y roundy bracket the data array. So the data is over there. So that's C two colon C eighty six comma the bins that's I three colon I fifteen. Now, and the next thing is you have to go very slowly, finger on the control button, finger on the shift button, finger on the enter button. And that's not a mistake. If we look up here, you can see, oops, sorry, it automatically puts in the braces. This is because it's an array entryer. So there's an array formula and it automatically when you look up in the formula bar, see the braces. Okay. Last thing to do is the graph. That's it done there. I'm going to do the graph again. So I want to do the graph like that. Highlight this slide here. Just so we want the bins. So we highlight that, insert uh, charts, uh, wrong one, just give me one sec here now, there we are, put in the chart title, uh, sorry have to go again, insert Apologies, apologies. Frequency count. Okay, add chart element, axis title, sorry, axis title, that's something like count per class, and then add chart element again, y axis title, sorry, that's there. And that's, yeah, just, I just put in Y axis title there. Okay, I could put in a slightly better X axis title, but Y axis title, but I think we're okay for the moment. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.